1979. I was eight, nine years old, and uh, man, went to the drag strip. We hung out at Ardmore, Oklahoma, and, and uh, hung out at Ardmore Racetrack. I've been there a few times with the death trap, and, and been down there to watch a few races and stuff. It's my dad's fault, and I had to buy this car, so I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's worth a lot to me. So, the C6 Chevelle, it has some nice parts in it. Um, obviously, we've got the Holly bid melt on here. Um, it's got the vintage heat and air on it. So, the AC compressor, the Holly bid mount, if you look down in here, it just cleans it all up. Um, we have the AC lines ran in the fender well. We have all the wiring in the fender well. Um, the McKee shaved the firewall. So, the thing is just extra, extra clean um, underneath the hood. So, uh, Brodix, um, Brodix has been good to me for a lot of years. And, uh, so I hit Mark up at Brodix and we got some valve covers for this thing. And, uh, he etched, uh, he laser etched Chuck Sassinger racing in the valve covers. So it just gives it that extra, little bit extra touch. Um, I, I, I called, oh, quick performance. Uh, I bought the Willwood brakes. It's got four wheel discs, brought the master sonar, everything from uh, Quick Performance. So they hooked me up with that stuff. And uh, those guys, you know, normally doing rear ends and stuff, but they had all the brakes in stock and uh, he made me a pretty good deal on it. So we put all new brakes on it, which cleaned up underneath the hood even that much more. So uh, like I said, Holly, it, you know, the car, it's got the Holly Terminator on it. So yeah, still looks like a carburetor, but it's fuel injected. Um, man, this thing has just been, it is a simple car starts up in cold weather and it's just clean it makes a lot of torque it runs good it's just a four-speed car and i love it so uh anyway there you go there's under the hood of chuck's 66. Dash um, for cruising 47s. 
seven miles. It's a factory look, um, but it's all digital. Dakota Digital did an awesome job on that stuff. I put 612 miles on it, and um, so it don't have a bunch of miles on it, but it, it is a really, really, really cool car, so I love it. So today we're heading over to McKee's. Um, gonna head over there. We got a couple of things. Missing the visors. Uh, he just got them in. Um, the wipers, the springs were broken. The wipers. A couple little things. Um, Mike McKee did. You know, once I got the car from Richie, once I bought it, got it in my possession. There's a few things I wanted to add and uh, reach out to Holly. Um, so we put the Holly, the Terminator on it. So uh, it's got fuel injection on it. Um, it has the Holly bid mount on it. Uh, we put vintage air in it. So, uh, you know, so I wanted the Holly bid mount. It, it's clean, as clean can be under the hood. And uh, like I said, this is this is a bucket list car that I've always wanted. And um, so it's uh, it's just my dream car. So it's got it's just about perfect. Um, we put some uh, skinnies in the front, some fats in the back. Um, the car's not tubbed or anything, so you can only put like an eight and a half inch wheel on these 66, 67 cars. They just wouldn't hold uh, much of a wheel. Um, so, but anyway, it's, um, it is my dream car. It's my bucket list car. So, uh, love this thing, man. It's, uh, it's, it's just an awesome ride. And, uh, so we're going to go over to McKee's. Stop by there today. And, uh, he's the one that did a lot of the work to it. Put the disc brakes on it. And, um, shaved the firewall. God, they did a bunch of work to it. So him and his boys, um, you'll recognize them. They, we raced them on the show uh, the last couple weeks, and uh, they built some awesome cars. And um, so um, I, they, they work on a lot of my stuff. I've got one of my turbo trucks. My my youngest daughter's turbo truck is over there right now, getting the built six liter put in it. And uh, there's a few little bitty things we got left to do, and that you know we need some badass tunes in this thing. And uh, other than that, it has cold ass AC and it has some uh, badass heat just needs some stereo so. alright so like I said running over here to McKee's McKee Auto um, we are racing guys all the time they build badass cars and, and I had you know I had Senior and his, and his kids uh, like I said those guys are the ones that actually uh, finished up this car for me Put all the cool stuff on it um so pretty legit and he has a ton of legit cars and as you saw on, you know last couple weeks on tv so go over here we got a couple things put on it so we'll uh we'll bullshit with him and uh So I took it over to McKee for an oil change and then it left with all this other high dollar <laughs> shit, you know. But it's uh 
it's uh yeah, I, I forgot that we put the wheel wood brakes on it. Oh yeah. And I remember when we should, you know, shaving the firewall, but I just I keep yep. forgetting about all the different stuff that we did to this car. So the air conditioner yeah. on it. I know AC's on it, yeah. Run all the lines around. I know, it, it's it's clean. That's what people don't understand. Even though the outside of the car, like people love this car. You know, they see it, but then they don't understand. Like, you open the hood, and it's just as nice under the hood. Yeah. So it makes it cool. A lot of, a lot of work. And a lot of hours. Yeah, a lot of hours. Yeah, I was at, he was telling me about that piece, and I don't guess I've ever paid attention to what that. All the closeouts? Yeah. They make it nice. It just cleans it up. I the rest of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I didn't even pay attention to what you t you keep telling me about it. I'm like, I don't think there's nothing missing. See her right here on this one. I got one in that box. Just come here for that one. Put a truck. Okay. Now you do it open. Yeah, you were talking about that. Yeah. Use too much. You race it too much, you drive it too much. Okay, wow, okay, yeah. See, it'll hide everything. Yeah, it fills it all in, okay, yeah. yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah, it just hides all the AC lines and yeah, stuff, you okay. I see none of, nothing through there. Nothing yeah. Through. How long has this car been put together? It's actually been put together a little over eight years now. Golly. <laughs> hey, it, seemed, it seems like a, like two years ago. I know. like, man, have you seen the Keys Red car? <laughs> and that seemed like that was two years ago. I know. Eight years. Yep. Man. We've been coast to coast in it. Yeah. Does it fit? It should. It should. The first one we ordered was for a 67. Oh, okay. It's where they sent a 67, not a 66. And it's, and it's different? Yeah, I went to put it on. Yeah, the other shit. Yeah. Luckily, we're building 67 in there, so we just moved okay. it to his bill and all. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I noticed that night I was driving it, and this, oh, and I was like, man, one of my headlights looks funny. Oh, that's where I was going to look at. So one headlight's like this, but I was. Yeah, I see it. Okay, so my question is, so look at the marker lights. They ain't even on the wall. Okay, but, okay, but look at this. When you got it on the marker lights, they're on, aren't they? Yeah. The so then when you turn the headlights on, it loses the marker lights. I it just, it's something I noticed the other night. It's no big deal. Okay. Yeah, so I noticed the other night, I'm like, man, I got out because, uh, oh, I was, uh, uh, I stopped to get some fuel. And I'm like, my marker lights are on. I go, I thought those were only blinkers only. And then I had the headlights on later and I got out and looked at it and it didn't, they weren't on. And I'm like, okay. Is it going there, or it needs some fabricating? Yeah, I think it's gonna need some massaging around. Okay, well, we can put those on later, because like I said, I think I'm gonna, ow, son of a bitch. Forgot I just drove it. Let's see, look, is it supposed to go under? Is it supposed to? Well, it sits on top and the bolts hold it in, but it looks like it's supposed to work in the back here. I wonder, oh, these are I wonder if it can go under, I wonder if it'll go under, like if we, if it, well, but if it, what do you think? Let's see if that one comes close to, see, I wonder if it goes under it. Yeah, I'm thinking this one should go under. Loosen and we'll put it under it and see what happens. Does those fit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're tight. I just now noticed that they didn't come with a, a rubber tip. We're over here. Oh, okay. There's a little deal I'll have to get. Okay, that's right. Oh, it just keeps it from probably vibrating yes. or something. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully they connect the wipers. <laughs> the wi oh, yeah, I know. That's weird. The wipers, the springs just, they don't make them like they used to, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. 
had a hot friend in our own music. Yeah, seeing it may hold. But if even if it just goes on there, it's something we can. Will it go under? Yeah, I can go under that one. There you go. If you can, and then maybe slide. We slide that clip back over there, and then put the screw through both of them. Maybe we have to have a longer screw though, wouldn't we? Yeah, I got some self tap screws. Okay. There. That slid back. Oh, this part right here. Oh, because it needs to be. Well, if you want, let's let's wait. Put a because <coughs> when I bring it over, when I bring this thing over to drop it off, put them on then. Because you got plenty of time, and you don't have, we don't have to be in a hurry. Yeah, you don't have to be in a hurry or nothing. We yeah. can do that, and yeah, then we we'll can just trim. We'll just trim. You can just trim it and make it. What well, trees the air conditioner? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we can just trim it out and stuff. And that way, we can make it make it where that nut clears and stuff. Uh, because, like Once I said, there, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to find. I think what I'm gonna try to do is find a set of just a good set of heads at intake. And Ryan thought he had some laying around. He said, "Man, I got a ton of big ball stuff I've never used." So if he's got some good stuff like that. Where it's got a decent looking intake, decent length of the heads, where I can use it. I don't want to change, you know, I don't want to change the exhaust, I don't want to change anything. Right. But, and then, and like I said, you know, the motor's been kind of pissy anyway, so. Yeah, that'd be and maybe just, and I'll just have y'all, while I'm hemmed up with surgery, have y'all just yank it out, and it can just sit here, and then I'll, and I can run the motor down there <coughs> to like Shannon and have her go through it. Yeah. And just have her and tell her that the thing runs hot, it's pissy, it may, you know. Yeah. That way she can tell them the board and everything. Right, they won't know anything about it. Yeah, we may need to clean it up and throw a set of pistons in or something, but and actually, but I put a good set of heads on it to make sure everything's. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, and next day I'm not gonna be able to drive it. I'm gonna be in a sling for six, eight weeks. So that's to me that's perfect timing. Just, just get it done, you know. And then yeah, and y'all can mess with that stuff while it's. my 66 Chevelle big block SS four speed car um, hope you guys like it um, it is my bucket list dream car and uh, it's black on black on black and uh, I love it so uh, it is my favorite car uh, hope you guys like it as much as I do um, like I said speedometer just rolled over like 635 miles um, since it's been redone and uh, hats off to the McKees they always treat me right and they did a lot of cool work to it um like i said hats off to richie he painted it up in illinois he's the one i bought it from and he restored it um man there's nothing i don't like about this car um and it is definitely a bucket list car and uh i don't know if they'll bury me in this thing because that's going to be a big ass casket but uh this car ain't going nowhere so thank you guys for watching um i've got a lot of cool cars this is probably the coolest but uh subscribe stay tuned to what we're doing because this whole winter while we're not racing no prep kings and we're not racing on the street i'm going to show you all the cars um that i've been buying over the years and all my bucket list cars and so uh thanks to all the people that's helped me uh get to where i'm at and uh peace out man y'all check out what we got coming next thanks